Although artillery is often referred to as the god of war, if this god cannot aim accurately, it will only waste ammunition. In the era of front-loading artillery, most artillery pieces had a limited range, so relatively simple equipment could be used to conduct target data tests. However, as the range of artillery has increased, more professional and precise target positioning equipment is needed. The TZG-90 is a modern device widely used in Western countries. The TZG-90 is a compact target observation device, typically used in artillery observation teams or mounted on vehicles such as the Bradley Fighting Vehicle to obtain target data during reconnaissance operations, guiding friendly artillery to precisely strike targets. If the artillery observation team is the eyes of the artillery, then the TZG-90 should be the eyes of the eyes. With modern technology, the operation of the TZG-90 has become much simpler. Its main components include the CE-634, CE-663 laser rangefinder, a portable computer, the MK-112 gyro compass, and the SG-10 electronic angle measuring instrument. If configured for individual soldiers, it also includes two different sized tripods and the corresponding battery pack. The purpose of the TZG-90 is to determine geographic or UTM grid coordinates, measure target distance, azimuth, and elevation angle data. All the data measured is transmitted to higher level fire control systems for accurate target engagement. So how capable is the TZG-90 in measurement? Its laser rangefinder can test a maximum distance of 20 kilometers, with a target capture accuracy of 10 meters. The entire device can observe distances from 60 to 20,000 meters, with a measurement accuracy of 5 meters. Compared to old-fashioned equipment, it does not have any particularly new features, but its basic tasks are the same, with the advantage of fast and accurate data calculation. Even with the integration of so many devices, the YZG-90 is not a lightweight equipment. The portable version used by observation teams weighs up to 33 kilograms, and it is not suitable to carry it by hand. Therefore, it needs a tripod as a support platform. The high and low tripods mentioned earlier can be chosen based on the location. If installed on a mobile vehicle, it is much easier, requiring only a suitable mounting position. Therefore, it can be seen on many Western armored vehicles. Despite technological advances, especially the portrayal of intelligent weapons and satellite guidance in movies and TV shows, the military still heavily relies on conventional observation equipment like the YZG-90, especially in weaker countries. It should indeed be considered as a basic backup in military organization. Do you remember the Russian version of Fire at Me in previous years? As a world military power, Russia also relies on ground special forces for guidance in bombing missions, which is enough to illustrate the point. However, the use of the YZG-90 also relies on other equipment. For example, the German Leopard 1A3 tank is equipped with a charging adapter and the MRT-86 portable military computer, as well as important voice and data separation wireless radio equipment. The vehicle can simultaneously send information on three different networks. The Fire Support Voice Radio Network, the Fire Support Data Radio Network, and the Combat Voice Radio Network. 